I was working as an osteopath and a clinical hypnotherapist and people came to me with all sorts of problems and I noticed that they got really stuck and in many cases I could help them but in some cases I just couldn't help them and so they were left in trouble because I was their last resort they'd come to me in desperation and if I couldn't help them where do they go next so I stopped and I thought, we need to look at this from a completely different perspective. We need to see what are we missing here, because these people deserve health, they deserve happiness. So I re kind of looked at everything again and I started to design the lightning process, which allows people to make changes in brilliant and exciting and entertaining ways of things they've been stuck with for years. Really reassessing what's possible and deciding they can be incredibly powerful in their lives. One of the core aspects of the lightning process, and particularly this book, the introduction to the lightning process, is the body-brain-mind connection, which is the way those two things interact. And we notice this every day, don't we? You know, when people, we see people blushing, if they get embarrassed, that affects the capillaries in their skin, which makes them hot. Or, or we may have had the experience of going to, say, an interview, getting stressed, and ending up in the toilet before we go to the interview. This is quite normal. This is the, the mind influence in the body. The other place we notice it is in the fascinating field of medical trials, where every, tri every drug, every surgery, everything is trialled against what's called placebos, which are things that contain nothing. And we find, amazingly, that people respond to placebos. And what's happening there, it's not the placebo, it's not the pill that's making them well or changing their health. It's them. Somehow, they're interacting with their body by the way they think and what they expect to happen. The question is, and the lightning process looks at this, is there some way we can harness that so we can become powerful in changing our health? And the answer is, yeah, we can. The lightning process has been really useful and helpful for people in recovering their health. This includes a whole range of conditions, both immunological, muscular, neurological. So that includes ME, chronic fatigue, MS, multiple sclerosis, migraines, IBS, various gut problems, lots of people with physical health issues in terms of their immune systems. And then of course we've got emotional health issues as well, like anxiety, depression, OCD. What's interesting about the lightning process is it seems to be useful for all these things, much like a PC or a smartphone. It's a brilliant tool which if you use appropriately, you can make changes to this very important thing, the body-brain-mind connection. So fundamentally, if you've got any of those health issues or you're looking to improve and enhance your health and learn how to make a difference in your health and well-being, then the introduction to the lightning process has the solutions and the answers to start making those changes, start using tools and get the life that you deserve and the health that you wish for.